Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, FlippersMC, and um, I finished recording Minecraft and editing. So I thought let's give Flight Simulator X a shot. Now this is probably going to get up, get uploaded um, later than. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! Who told you to start? I def never do that. Never have the throttle on a hundred percent for some reason on your joystick. Always keep forgetting to turn it back down. Anyway, so point is, uh, this is probably going to get. Uh, get uploaded a bit later, I don't know, maybe a couple of days later than the Minecraft Let's Play. Anyway, enough of the talk, and um, let's begin, I guess. So, um, everything's alright, no failures anywhere, because last time, for some reason, it just gave me an elec electrical failure, and since I'm, a, I'm a bit more cautious. Anyway, so, let's get this party started, shall we? Yeah, so basically we're flying from uh, Rodos to Kos. Um, so both Greek islands in the GNC. Um, uh, yeah, let's begin this. So uh, I was just about to say let's begin by switching off the uh, switching on the fasten seatbelt sign. But who needs that? Anyway, so let's begin by getting clearance. We're going to do this properly. So uh, the uh, the Agoras. It's just spelled the Agoras. And by the way, yes, it's German because I bought the. I got it from Germany as a gift, so. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to get to. Uh, here. And we're going to. Go to. Uh, direct yeah, takeoff. Request taxi for takeoff. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, we already did that. Um, yeah, yeah, contact tower when ready, whatever. Hey, you can actually hear Greek language in the background, that's nice. That's a nice add-on. It might actually be with the scenery that I download. However, I don't. Th I, I don't think. No, I haven't implemented the scenery yet. No, I haven't. I definitely haven't. Uh, yeah, I got us round beach one foxtrot Sierra. No, not say again. Oh jeez. So how was your day, guys? Good. Yeah, mine was good too. I love recording today, you know, because I'm a lot more active since it's summer now. Taxi two and hold short runway seven. Be a taxi wait runway seven. Beach one Foxtrot Sierra. Yeah, go to tower. Beach. No yeah, VFR, 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 whatever. Get it going. Ready for takeoff. Straight out departure. Straight out departure. Yeah. yeah. One Foxtrot Sierra. Clear for takeoff runway seven. Okay, Straight clear for takeoff runway seven. Good. Clear for takeoff runway seven. Beach one Foxtrot Sierra. Good. We're clear for takeoff. Then let's take off. But first, let me take a selfie. No, seriously. First, we have to go up here. GPS. GPS. Can I please have the GPS as a. Because I need to know where I'm going. I'm not very well trained in the Aegean Sea. I do not live in the Aegean Sea. I live in the Ionian. Can you. Can you not. Bam. And then bam, and a boom, a bang, a boom, a freaking bang. There you go. Actually, no, I might actually use this down here. There you go. So let's start. Throttle up in this Beechcraft bar baron. I think it's called. I I can't pronounce that. It's it's French. It's okay. D don't judge. Sorry, French people. All right. Probably shouldn't do that too much. It's it's not a jet. I keep forgetting that. Anyway, so the main reason I actually didn't pick a jet or so is uh, because not because I can't fly jets. Uh, as you saw in my FSX music video, I can fly jets. But this distance is relatively short, and I know in real life it isn't 
flown by jets also it wouldn't make any sense because it's literally only a 20 minute distance I calculated and flying that with a jet would mean we'd be getting there like pretty damn fast okay positive climbing rate good all set to go so we'll just gain s a bit more speed a bit more altitude and then we actually no let's start let's start already why not so I don't remember did I actually use flaps for take a not yep I did good so flaps are in all right I've got a message hi message Near space, listen to. Okay, I'll 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 watch out. I'm I, I'm actually flying there. What do you mean, listen? I'm supposed to pass through there. Yeah. Oh jeez, my voice. All right. Airspeed, good. See, the thing is, when you fly, you have to keep checking all of the instruments so that you do not accidentally do something that will overload the aircraft and stuff like that. So. Yeah, everything's fine. Calm one. I don't think we need much doing, like, oh, okay. Good, uh, so this means we've got a frequency change approved, what he said, um, so we can rest. And let's go to, uh, that. And. Yeah, we're not yet there, so we can leave that for later. Let's get to Hippocrates. Do you like that? Greek accent, that's very nice, isn't it? Okay. So we're steady. Okay, good. Whoa! -ho -ho. That, I kid you not, that wasn't me. Oh god, the visibility. That's, that's by the way, that is, um, that's actually, I think that's part of the scenery. That is dust from the Sahara Desert, which is very common in the Aegean Sea because it's, you know, so close to the thing. Um, so close to Africa down, so sometimes you get these um, conditions. Actually, this was a cloud, but it was kind of a dusty cloud. If that makes sense. Flying west. Oh, exactly west. Yeah. So I know I'm kind of supposed to shape more to it. Yeah. So we can decrease it a bit because we're we're cruising pretty high. So I wonder what the traffic is. Normally there is a bit of traffic, especially in the summer. See, this is classical Aegean. If you're flying over the Aegean, uh, for any pilots out there, if anyone's watching me, um, first of all, I know I do not fly very well yet, um, and secondly, any pilots who've flown the Aegean, like they know what it's like or people who've flown in FSX over the Aegean as well you know what I'm talking about it's this this mild turbulence on just directly under the clouds anyway I'm talking too much speed okay so we're, we're doing alright uh, I'm not going to really push the engines too hard because we've got time we've got time I mean, it's t a nice 20 minute trip that should do right trim no we do not need trim yet should we maybe give it give it over to the uh, autopilot hand it over I, I don't like handing over to the autopilot you know but you know sometimes whatever see oh no that's not that's okay that's beachy Yankee So you see, of the of these instruments, do you know which one is the most important one? Well, apart from the compass, the clock, because you want to know when you can finally go home. Ugh. No, but seriously, I guess. Could you please stop talking? Can you go Foxtrot uniform Charlie Kilo yourself for a second and let me?
Uh, yeah, this is Flight Foxtrot Uniform Charlie Kilo. <laughs> the fuck? I really should start playing a bit of multiplayer. And holy shit, I'm getting a bit too fast. I gotta watch my speed, even though I'm not in the yellow yet. See, the yellow means bad. The yellow area over there. Yeah, the yellow area means bad. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie, Yankee. Your mum's a 294. Oh, my co-pilot jumped out in fear. That's never a good sign. Okay, no, I'm, I'm going to be serious about this now. Is it? Really? Why is there a light in there? I'm scared. Mayday, mayday, we've got aliens on board. Okay, I should take this seriously because I was, I did actually, I wanted to do a serious flight. And I kinda am. Can we? No thanks. Oh god, I'm destroying my keyboard here. I really need a better solution. I need more buttons for my flight simulator because no matter how many buttons I have, or in generally any, generally anyone has in the flight simulator, there's always something that will be missing, some small detail. Oh, they're flying to Hippocrates too. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the, the shit, this means we've got traffic. I go watch out for that. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll probably land way before us. Should I do a traffic request? Nah. It'll, it's fine, it's probably just one of them. Oh no, they're flying to Athens. They departed from Hippocrates, I think. Charlie, Charlie, Yankee. <laughs> Wait, is this being looped? I think I've heard this conversation before. It's probably just. Oh god. Yep, it's being looped over. There, there is some, some sort of error there. Is there? I think I'm going to learn by the time I land on Hippocrates I'm probably going to to learn this oh, what am I talking about anyway holy oh, shit can you shut up all right now that's it that's it that's it that's it if you go it's fine if a, uh, traffic simulation is good but if you do the same the same shit Cannot do something with the traffic. Is there anything that you can do? Is there any? <sighs> Am I going to be stuck with this now? With him saying Charlie, Charlie, Yankee forever? Well, it is until I exit out. Oh dear lord, can I not? I think I might have to switch off the electrical systems to get rid of this guy. Oh god, can you shut up? Shut it! Um, that's it, frequency change. F you, F you, F you, F you. Can I? Can I not? 
There you go. That'll fix it. Okay, good. Squawk code, yeah. Squawk code, beach four. That's actually pretty. Why am I so slow? I've got flaps out or something. Can you shut up? Oh god, it's just all over again. Oh god, it's just stuck and looping all over. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, you have to hear this. It's, you know, I'm just sick of it. Just sick of them as saying different, different shit. That's... Why can I, why can not everything go well in my videos? By the way, in this Minecraft video, I, um... I accidentally had set the difficulty to peaceful. I did not realize I did. I did do that, so that's why nothing was happening. Holy shit, can you shut the fuck up? Just sh shut it. Wait, let me, I'm going to switch off the main avionics now. I'm not kidding. That's it. Because if I restart this, he'll probably shut up. That's a magneto. Where? I don't even know where it's located. Oh god, this is going to drive me insane over time. Oh god, this is going to drive me insane over Why do I have to... Oh god, my altimeter has a problem. Never mind, it's fine. Come on, I only need the handoff. It's just looping all over again, no matter what happens. Why? Just why? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing B, god damn it. The, uh, the, the altimeter. Will you ever let me... Right. With all this shit going on, I'm, I do not look at my instruments probably. I have to look at them. Also, why do you hand us over to Athens Airport? We're landing at Hippocrates. Finally, something different happening! Finally, Beach Charlie Charlie Yankee has shut up. Did I just get a temporary warning there? Who was that? Oh, I really need to focus. See, this actually simulates very well the distractions people ca uh, pilots can face. It's it's probably not th the same cause, but pilots may uh, pilots may as well, uh, you know have these problems, these distra distractions, and that's actually a pretty good way of showing, especially how over here, my over here, I'm off of course, right, because I got distracted by the radio. See, these things happen in real life, and I actually like the fact that I just did that. Also, all these islands here look the same. They're not the same, but they look the same. Right, this was supposed to be a 20 minute flight. I'm, I'm sure we're way over 20 minutes into the video, right? Yeah? Yeah, I think so.
Beach, Charlie, Charlie, Yankee, what, what was that, Jesus. Okay, how far are we? 70 miles? Is that 70 miles to go? Yeah, it's 70 miles to go. We're doing... Say we're doing... I mean, not how we're doing, actually. Yeah, our airspeed is about 140, if we convert that to miles. Yeah, we should be there soon. Six minutes, I think. Oh, I, I, look, it actually does say so in the bottom. Probably about five minutes. The other thing that's bothering me is I probably... How high am I actually flying? I haven't looked at the altimeter. Right, I'm on six... Uh, yeah, I should de start descending right about now. Let's descend. Because I've been constantly climbing, so I have to descend at some point, right? Especially since I'm only that far away still from uh, Hippocrates. Right, I am only four minutes away. The, the, this thing is a minute count, so I was right about the six, about the six minutes. It was actually a guess. I did not do the calculation. I just wanted to sound as if I knew how to do this. Sweet. Right, don't get distracted by the radio. Oh, okay, sight contact. Can I? Can I announce that? Can I announce that? Why can't I announce that? Fine. I guess I can't. I think so. Maybe I just have to get closer. That's a runway over there, right? Yeah? Don't zoom in on don't zoom in on the instrument. Yeah, it's a runway. All right, so I need to get lined up right about now. Shit, shit, I wasn't. Okay, shit. So we gotta start. He said, "No, no, no, take the throttle off." What do you mean, gear up? Gear is down. Is it gear up or down? I think I, I think we've got a gearing fa failure. Crap. Yep, I think. Oh hey, do we have a landing gear for? Is it gear down or up? Right now it has to be up. Good, good. Okay, great. Actually, let's just pause for a second because I am not satisfied yet. I am not satisfied yet. Good. So when it says gear up, gear is really up because last time I did have an error with this. Nope, you don't go into the virtual cockpit. There you go. Now, click into the window and unpause. Alright, so we're way off, of course. So I do no longer need the GPS. I don't think, no. I don't I don't need the GPS. I, because I have sight, sight contact with the airport. And I'm way off, of course. I'm nowhere near lined up. I should have edited the course, really. Yeah, that was the thing. But can I not contact them? Or are they supposed to contact me? See, I'm not yet that familiar, but I think something's wrong here. Something's fishy, right? I don't know. But let's pull out flaps. Without getting a warning, please, that would be nice. Yeah, we're in the green, so we can use the flaps, I think. Unless it's in the whites. So you gotta learn these things every time you switch airplanes, you know. But again, I like the fact that this happened with this Charlie, Charlie, Yankee beach aircraft there because this actually shows how pilots get this dis distracted, right? I, so I need to get a bit slower. I'm still turning though, so I don't know if I... So I need to keep the throttle up at steady rate. I'm not going to put the gear down yet or we might actually so that we do not have the hassle down actually no let's keep it up to minimize drag I know I shouldn't have 
put the flaps out yet, but I do like to do it for safety. I haven't got them fully out because there's three stages and I'm on stage two, I think. Yep, I'm st I'm on stage two. Yep. But the thing is. Okay, we need to get lined up. Oh, 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 this is not me. This is Toby Lens. Okay. I was not informed about these winds. No, seriously, I checked the winds. I did not see this. Wow. Hey, that that reminds me of the time I actually landed at Kos. So I did a stop at Kos to get to Germany. And do you know what tur turbulences you were facing there? Seriously, if you know any a pilot who flew at, Co uh, at Kos, ask him. It's, it's really... Okay, I think we can put gear down. We're way too high. Look at the poppy. It's says we're way too high and we are way too high we really need to descend it says take the throttle off and descend make an evasive maneuver here because we're way too high oh crap we're going to i think my flaps will get damaged due to excess speed no nah probably not but i really hope i make it now i'm way too high I'm supposed to descend a lot more come on two reds two whites please we're not even got one red I remember though flying over this, right? So with the jet, you really have this fear because it's really turbulent, and I actually can feel this now here. And oh no, my flaps are fully out. So y with a jet, you've got this fear when you land on a Hippocrates um, that you're going to um, get into the mountainside, something like this, and I'm way too high. Get into them. I'm supposed to go around, but. I don't really, I, quite frankly, I don't care. Come on. This is a long landing strip, so I should be okay. Oh, crap. I think we might have to go, go around. Never mind. Still a good landing. See, again, another good example. Unexpected turbulence. Like, if you're about to land... You've got unexpected turbulence. I should have expected it though, because Kos is really famous for its turbulence there. Right, we did not actually get landing clearance, but whatever. Let us go over Charlie. Taxi over Charlie into the gate. See, I wanted to make a, a way better landing because, you know, when I make videos, I like to make good landings. Because I, I have landed a jet better than I've landed this. So maybe next time we'll fly a jet. I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we can squeeze in just another short flight. Why not? Maybe from... White Waltham to Gatwick. That's an, that's a nice ro ro route. I like seeing London from above. Uh, I think I also have a scenery for this. Yeah, I might actually do that. Okay, so there's a refueling thing. Hi, refueling thing. Can you refuel me? Why don't you refuel me? Can't remember what's called refueling dock. Something like this. No smoking. Or is that that looks like an ATM? Okay, so we're going to parking brakes, and we are going to shut down these. So anyway, so um, thank you guys. Of anyway, so um, thank you all uh for watching, um. If you enjoyed, please drop a like. I don't know. Uh, let us open the door. Door is open. I think. How do you open this? Anyway, so uh, see you guys later. Unless I. How long have I been recording? Have I been recording for 20 minutes? 30 minutes. And uh, one gigabyte file size. Okay. So thank you all guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.